Hello guys, welcome to Get Money Points PS YouTube channel. And I'm on this YouTube channel, we try to solve various challenges agents may encounter using the money points POS or directly on your wallet account either on your POS or you are having issues directly on your wallet account all right so you are in the right place at the right time watching the right video from a professional all right so first and first guys I want to appreciate those that have subscribed to our YouTube channel thank you so so much for subscribing Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, we appreciate you a lot. And for those that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right. All the videos we make on this YouTube channel are totally free of charge. So subscribing to this channel is the best you can do to reciprocate what is being done, what is being given, the information that is being given. Yeah. All right. So you see the subscribe button just below this video. So just click on it. Subscribe. 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 Thank you so much for subscribing. And also remember to like this video. So liking this video is going to um, help the YouTube algorithm to directly push out these videos to people that are interested in seeing this kind of videos. And trust me, you want to do good by liking this video so that also people that are interested in this kind of video can have access to watch them. All right. So by now, I believe you must have subscribed and also like this video. Okay. So let's go to the topic of today. All right. So on today's um, edition um, tutorial, I will be showing you how you can add um, staffs. Um, let me break it down in a way you can understand. All right. How you can add either an editor or a cashier to your dashboard, right? Without allowing the person have complete access to your font, right? So what that means is that you can, instead of just giving everybody, um, probably you are a manager, you are an MD, and um, you will not be always chance to just log in and check the transaction, log in and check the transaction. You can add cashiers. So what these cashiers can do is that they can log in and they can see the transactions, but they cannot move money out of the account, all right? So we have the, um, we have the editors also that can do a specific thing on the account, but cannot move money outside the account, all right? So instead of just giving people um, your staff, so your username and password to just log in because you want them to see the transaction, but then you don't want them to be able to move money outside the account all right so this feature is going to help you to um, get that done all right so and um, if you have a question um, you have a challenge you're facing with your viewers and you want me to make a video on that you can drop it on the comment section and I will attend to you all right drop your questions on the comment section you can also DM me um, through the description link on the WhatsApp button to get a money point POS all right so from now I'll take you to my screen where we'll continue and on my screen I'll be showing you the remaining. Alright guys, so now we are on the screen. Alright, so you can see username and you can see password. So you enter your username and your password on which I've made a video on this before in case you're finding it difficult to get your password. You can just come to forget password, enter the username, then you get a link. Alright. And there's a code if you are finding it difficult to get your username you can also come to forget username to proceed from there all right so let's go to login since we know our username and our password so an otp will be sent of which we will need to enter this otp all right so let's await our otp okay this is basically for security purposes all right that's why we have to await our otp okay we have our otp here yeah? Okay, um, I'll just enter the OTP now. All right, guys, so that's it. I've entered the OTP. All right, so now we can now continue. Remember, we want to add, um, let me just pick one account on which we can do this. So you log in, as you can see guys. Now this is the outlet manager dashboard. You cannot do that on this dashboard, all right. So I'll be um, showing you how you can switch. All right, there are many accounts here. So 
look um, on the upper of the screen, you can see switch businesses. Switch businesses. So click on switch businesses and select business owner profile. Can you see this, guys? Select business owner profile. Are you seeing the procedure? All right, we came to this outlet manager account. You can see what the outlet manager account looks like. These are the things you can see on the outlet manager account. But we remember what we want to do is we want to add either cashier or an auditor to the account. All right. So now we come to switch businesses. Okay. Then we select business owner profile. All right, so this is what we want here. Yeah? All right, can you see this, guys? We want this dashboard. So on this place, you can see user management. User management, guys. So you click on user management. Are you seeing this, guys? User management. So this is what the screen is going to look like. And you see invite new users. Can you see this, guys? Invite new users. So you come to invite new users and click on invite new users then you enter the first name can you see this guys enter the first name all right so what's the name okay let me just pick a name um okay so enter the last name can you see this guys enter the email address all right the email address of the person all right um what email address are we using now okay can you see this guys so you enter the email address of the person enter the phone number can you see this guys then you enter select the signation that means what do you want what role do you want is it a cashier or an auditor so the cashier is only going to have access to see the amount and transactions money coming in money coming out however the editor may be able to perform some other transaction outside just seeing the money coming in and money coming out so it's better you go for cashier if you are um, giving access to a lot of staff so you can give them this access they can see transaction without needing to call you to confirm all right so select the business all right we have a lot of business here businesses here so i will just select the particular one the business under this money point account that i want to use all right so can you see that guys so and i will now click on invite guys can you see this guys i will now click on invite all right so invite so it's going to load email sent to Olukot Sam successfully. Are you seeing this guy? So the email would have been sent now to the email address I inserted there and also to the phone number. Can you see this guy? It's very, very simple. Take it step by step. If you want to use auditor, it's still the same process, guys. So, all right, guys. So that's it. Very simple. Take it step by step. Take it step by step, and you are done. And you now sent. We successfully sent the email to the person, and now the person can now accept and now create the details and now log in. And the person can also have access to the account, but the person cannot move money out of the account. Do you understand, guys? So this feature is very important. Instead of just allowing everybody to have access into the account, so the person can um, log in, but the person cannot move money outside the account all right so um that will be for this video all right guys thanks so much for watching cheers guys and god bless